Hey, LVC. Quick word with you about the state of COVID-19 in Kenya right now. This is very much an impromptu pastoral short video. I just want to share with you my heart a bit, update you a little bit on what we've been talking about as LVC leadership, but just also express with you the alarm, the concern of what we see happening in Kenya right now. I'm recording this on Friday, the 30th of November. And no, sorry, October. Told you this is very impromptu. 30th of October and yesterday, the 29th, Thursday, Kenya set a record number of cases. Of course, we see cases exploding in Europe, across the USA, other parts of the world. And so it is concerning to see what's happening, in part because we're just struggling with pandemic fatigue. So we have rising cases amidst pandemic fatigue and an increasing laxity in our behavior because we're tired of this. We want to go out and be social, do certain things as much as we can. And if you're like me, you struggle because you're trying to do different things yourself to be safe, but maybe you've gone out and doing things that you certainly didn't do in April and May. So all of us individually, as families, as churches, we're trying to figure out how to do this unprecedented piece of history. And so I want to encourage you to keep seeking the Lord, but I want to encourage you as well, just as you go out and make daily decisions, church, we need to be as careful as we possibly can. Let's continue to take seriously what the government is saying, what the public health officials are saying, what the Ministry of Health is saying. Let's abide by the protocols. Okay, so when you go out, please, let me encourage you to wear your mask as best as you possibly can to keep distance, to keep washing your hands. We're probably all just sick and tired of washing our hands and maybe got lax with that even. But we got to do what we can individually and with our families. We know that with so many people being asymptomatic, we may just think, you know what? Like, it's not a big deal. But see, the problem is, even if immediately we're not going to be affected with our health, passing this virus around, it's going to hurt the most vulnerable. People who have... Uh, underlying conditions, older people. And we have definitely heard reports of it getting worse in hospitals, of hospitals getting overloaded. And there's a lot of rumors flying around, but also secondhand accounts that many of us have heard. And so we just need to take seriously again the call to love our neighbor as ourselves. And so church, feel free to reach out if you've got questions for us. Um, we know this has been hard to be apart from each other, and we really want to be back together as much as we can. So we're not meeting anytime soon. Um, we ask you to just stay tuned for when we wait and see what's happening on the ground. But as of right now, we're going to stick with virtual for our, our Sunday sermons and kids video lessons. We're so thankful for an amazing team that's been working hard on that. Uh, Pastor Isabella and teacher Claire and so many others. Our intern, Victor, the songwriting. So with home groups, we do have um, groups that have wanted to start meeting up. Of course, a lot of this has been going on. These uh, ideas and desires expressed before this last week where cases are exploding. But we've put out and are, we're going to put out soon uh, a list of protocols that for even when home groups or men's or women's groups meet up, things that we want to ask you to abide by. Uh, things that we're going to require if it's a, a, an official church function, because the reality is, church family, we need to do our part to help stem the flow of this virus. We pray and seek God and ask for an end, a vaccine, eradication as soon as possible. And probably the hardest part is just the waiting, the uncertainty. Uh, and I'm personally been struggling with that. It's been an up and down week for me. But can I just remind you of what Pastor Isabella and Pastor Joshua and I did at the beginning of the pandemic, where we walked through Psalm 91 and talked about it. And the first verse there says, whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. That's as true today in October than it was back in March and April, when we started talking about this. So church, we love you. We know this is hard, but we're with you. Please let us know how we can come alongside you 
during this difficult time. God bless.